we are trying to measure the pass band amplification between port 1 and 2 of our MMIC amplifier. Since the amplifier will amplify the power and will increase the power of the source to beyond the saturation level of the power sensor. First of all, we are trying to measure the attenuation of our attenuator we have provided. As you can see by connecting attenuator between the ports of source and the sensor, we are having a power level of about minus 16.8 dB and we will now connect this attenuator in series with the power amplifier. So minus 16.8 dB is available at this port which will be applied to the input of the MMIC amplifier here as you can see. The frequency of operation right now is about 3 GHz as can be displayed. apply the voltage of about plus 15 volts to the MIC amplifier we are using the plus 15 volt power supply from the micro power meter available and as we connect the power we see that the level in the power meter rises to approximately 0 dBm which shows that the MIC is amplifying this signal by about 17 dB with at a frequency of about 3 gigahertz. Now we can see the responses of other active devices we have provided. One of them is a pin modulator which can also be used as a variable attenuator. As you can observe that it has got two RF ports, port number one and port number two and it has got two voltage ports. One of them is a VC port at which a control voltage variable from 0 to 30 volts can be applied as well as a V plus volt where it, a different reference voltage can be applied. By providing variety in these voltages, different pin conditions can be studied. We will apply the RF source at port number 1 and we will apply the power sensor at port number 2. The S12 right now is about minus 14 dB which shows that this is the isolation of this particular pin diode switch at a frequency of about 3 GHz. As we apply a plus 15 volts to the control voltage port, we observe that this pin diode starts transmitting transferring power from port 1 to 2 and now the insertion loss has reduced the power level right now being measured is about plus 3 dB. So the insertion loss in the on condition is roughly about plus 2 while the isolation in the off condition is over 16-17 dB at a frequency of 3 GHz. We can apply a modulation voltage of 1 kilohertz at the control voltage and different experiments in amplitude modulation can be Study. We also got a pin diode switch here. We will connect the output port to the power sensor. The input port will connect to the RF source. We observe that very little power is being transferred right now because these pin diodes are not biased. As we apply a forward biasing voltage, we observe that the power level will change from minus 12 dB to roughly about plus 4 dB. So this will apply a forward voltage which will forward bias these pin diodes connected here and lambda by 4 shorts have been provided at the ends. These shorts will result in an open circuit at the edge of the pin diodes which doesn't load the switch at the design frequency of 3 GHz. Special fan filters have been used which do not allow the RF signal to pass into the control voltage ports. Now we will show the operation of a pin diode switching attenuator similarly. We have a pin diode switchable attenuator. We will connect the 
output port to the power sensor, the input port will connect to the source. Now, as we apply control voltage here, we observe that plus 3 dBm is the direct power being passed from the pin diode switch when the switch is in the off condition, pin diode attenuated. Now, the moment we connect the forward voltage to the other port, this will show the pin diode as minus 20 dBm. So, 20 dB is the attenuation of this particular pin diode attenuator in this case.